Hi there, my name is Amanda Hill and in this video what I want to do is show all of the pages for this planner. Now what I actually want to then do is put them all together on one page that shows what's in it. So I could individually create them but what I've chosen to do is actually take um, a screenshot of each set of, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm using a funky little tool here. It's called Snipping Tool. I'm just going to create Click New because I've got the last one on there already. And what it then allows me to do, I hope, is just position this little um, cross here. Then lasso exactly what I want to take a picture of. trying to match all of the sides and then I'll save it. I'll then get a blank page and I'll add them all in. So let me just save this and get a blank page and see what happens next. So what I'm going to do now is upload all of those lovely little images just by going to Upload Media. Now one of the great things that you can do with Canva is you can make it bigger. So there's this lovely little button just down here, and if I just move it along a tad, it will actually make what I'm looking at bigger, so I can see what I'm doing, which is always a good thing. I think I might have made it a slightly too big there. Yep, I have, and also I've spotted I'm missing one of my pages, so I'm going to have to upload that. Just take it down a tad and go and get my first page which seems to be completely missing. Okay I've managed to get them all on the page but they're not quite fitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather them all together and just make them all as a whole slightly smaller. So if I just click, click the shift button and then select each one with my mouse it should group them all together. Then what I can do is just pull it all in and make it slightly smaller as a picture just by picking up this corner and pulling up. So now it's actually making the picture a different size that will hopefully now fit on my page. What I can also do is actually group them all together so I'm now just going to move all of it as one thing. If I want to split it I can. So I've just positioned it on the page. I'm now going to grab my logo that I want to go on it. I may have to move it down a little bit, but that's easy now it's only one element. And then I can just add the logo into it and then download it as a picture or a PDF. And then that can go with whatever it is I'm working on. So that shows the entire workbook in one place which is great so people have an inkling of what they're getting. So I'll just add the logo, get it downloaded, and then I'm good to go.